Hello? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, Vijay. <clears throat> we are starting within two minutes. <clears throat> so this is our fourth day of this workshop. In past three days, we guys have seen three different aspects of research proposal from choosing and finalizing the research proposal to the last session that was conducted for uh, writing statement of problem, research objectives and research hypothesis. So yesterday only we have done that last session and today we are here for one more new session. And after this today's session, two more sessions will be left. And in those two more sessions, we are going to cover each and every aspect of the research proposal. So without uh, wasting our time, as those who have joined, others are also joining. But uh, the only thing that I have noticed, people are a little bit, you know, careless. So they are not joining on time. So <clears throat> I'm starting with my today's topic. And the topic of today's discussion is <clears throat> research design and research methodology. So see, when you finalize your topic for research study, if you want to undertake a research study, you have to select the topic first. Accordingly, you guys have to go for a statement of research problem. Then you have to go for research objectives. And after that, you have to go for research hypotheses. When these three things are you know, finalized, then you have to find out a certain way to conduct your research. So basically, when your basic things are ready with you, when your you know, fundamental things are ready with you, then your work is work will start. And whenever you want to start your research work, there is one certain procedure. There is one certain framework. And that particular research framework is uh, called as research design or research methodology. So, <clears throat> so in today's session, we are going to talk about what sort of research methodology is useful for uh, researchers that we conduct under the faculty of social sciences. As I told you, whatever research we are doing in our subjects like finance, management, commerce, education, and so on, all those subjects coming under the categories of uh, category of humanities, or uh, it is also called as social sciences. And uh, at the beginning only, I told you the researches that we conduct uh, under the category of natural sciences, those are totally different than the researches that we conduct under the category of social sciences or humanities. So uh, uh, as we know that science, whatever it is, whether it is social science or whatever it is, natural science, science means a systematic knowledge. Science uh, means systematic knowledge. It is not based on certain assumptions. It is based on some universal facts. When it comes to research, so research also uh, called as a systematic knowledge a systematic idea, systematic uh, invention, which entire universe is accepted. So here in today's session, we are going to talk about research design and research methodology, which is useful for the researchers of uh, social sciences. As I told you, people are a little bit, you know, worried about the concept of methodology. People are a little bit worried about the concept of design. These two words are a little bit, you know, heavy for we all, because uh, when we talk about design, so we think about one systematic uh, procedure, when we think about one systematic blueprint of uh, conducting a research. No doubt there is one systematic way of conducting the research, but there is no need to bother about uh, uh, bother about this, these particular concepts called methodology, design. Only words are, you know, heavy, but the concepts are very simple. And whatever session I'm conducting today, that is, uh, very simple when we compare with other sessions. So 
in in today's session we are going to talk about two different aspects which are the part and parcel and without that we cannot complete the research see if there is no proper methodology we cannot uh, complete the research we won't be successful in the concept of research so this is what there should be a proper methodology and when we follow a certain sort of methodology in our research definitely it is very much useful for all of us to conduct the research or to undertake the research or whatever uh, research we have undertaken and if you want to achieve the success in our research there should be a proper uh, methodology and that methodology is called as uh, that, that particular thing that particular procedure that particular framework that particular blueprint is called as research methodology see achaya lecture madhe apan research methodology manje sanshodhan paddhati ani sanshodhan arakhada ज्यादा अपन डिजाइन मन तो दोन दोन गोष्टी बदल प्राख्यान विचार करना आहोत मी मुद्दा मन मराठी बोलते है अपने जे पार्टिसिपेंट्स है दे आर फ्रॉम मराठी मीडियम और दे आर फ्रॉम मराठी बैकग्राउंड सो दे शूड ऑल्सो हैव दैट राइट टू अंडरस्टैंड इन मराठी और दो कॉन्सेप्ट नॉलेज इन मराठी सो सी रिसर्च आराखड़ा कि रिसर्च संशोधन पद्धति या दोन गोषी वरती अपन खरतर आज खूब चांगल पद्धति ने चर्चा करना आहोत आज का टॉपिक तो सब खूब छोटा आ खूब महत्वाचर है खूब सोपा है को टॉपिक्स मदले कॉन्सेप्ट करना कुछ ही अड़चण ये नहीं मैं मनापस रिसर्च आराखड़ा मे ज्यास तुम्हें एखाद संशोधना विषय अंतिम स्टेज लेता कि विषया की निवड़ करता निवड़ के तुम्हारा तो विषय मार्गी लो तुम्हारा विषया संशोधन करूँ तो विषय संशोधन तुम कम्प्लीट कर ज्यास तुम्हें एखाद विषय निवड़ता तुम्हारा तो विषय कम्प्लीट करना सा विशिष्ट अभी पद्धति वपरावी लगती एक पद्धत वपरावी लगती कारण तुम्हारा जो विषय है तो वेगवेगे कैटेगरीज मध्य अपन कैटेगराइज करू शको क्या प्रत्येक विषया की डिमांड वेगरी आती प्रत्येक विषयाच स्वरूप वेग विषयाच स्वरूप लक्षा घेन विषया की डिमांड लक्षा घेन अपन एक संशोधना की पद्धति ठरवत आतो तो यह पद्धति मे नीमक गोषी ये अपन आज पहना आहोत तसच एक आराखड़ा अपन ठरवत संशोधना के खूब प्रकार है संशोधना प्रकार पैकी अपन अपने संशोधना अनुरूप एक असा संशोधना आराखड़ा ठरवत एंड आराखड़ा वपर कर संशोधन भावी का कम्प्लीट करो सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू सिलेक्ट अ रिसर्ट डिजाइन what sort of research designs are there and what sort of research methodology that we guys have to follow for conducting or to for conduct completing our research already we have decided to go for a research already we have decided the statement of problem already we have decided the object to the hypothesis so like i goshti apun karun thevle ata apun track now we are actually going to start the work of research and whenever we want to actually start the research work then there is a need to have one design then we should have one methodology apply uh, the normal example that is thorla to me sangto ki apan baras vela admission gete varga madhe admission gete apan admission formalities complete karto manje aplya topic nevadla sarkha jale tyanantar apan school madhe jato kiwa college madhe jato aplya time table vagare bagto त्यानंतर आपलं प्लॅनिंग करतो सो इट इज जस्ट अ पार्ट ऑफ ऑटो इन्स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लेम देन ऑब्जेक्टिव देन हायपोथेसिस वेन वी ऍक्च्युली स्टार्ट गोइंग टू द स्कूल देन वी अंडरस्टँड वन थिंग की आपल्याला एक पर्टिक्युलर प्रोसिजर फॉलो करायला लागणार आहे किंवा आपल्याला सकाळी सात वाजता उठावं लागणार आहे आठ वाजता कॉलेजला पोचावं लागणार आहे सो इट बिकम्स युअर डे टू डे वर्क इट बिकम्स युअर रुटीन इट बिकम्स युअर मेथडॉलॉजी मेथड मीन्स वॉट वन सिस्टमॅटिक वे ऑफ कंडक्टिंग रिसर्च मेथड म्हणजे दुसऱ्या दिवशी काही ना एक पर्टिक्युलर सिस्टम ठरवून दिली आहे देर आर सडन स्टेप्स काय स्टेप्स आहेत काय पायरे आहेत जसं आपण उठलं आपल्या सुद्धा दैनंदिन जीवनामध्ये सुद्धा आपण काय स्टेप्स फॉलो करतो समजा आपण जॉब करत असू तर आपण साधारणपणे आठ वाजता उठतो रिफ्रेश होतो त्यानंतर पुन्हा नऊ वाजता कारने किंवा बसने आपण ऑफिसला निघतो दहा वाजता पोचतो देन दिवसभर आपण काम करतो संध्याकाळी पाच वाजता निघतो सहा वाजता घरी पोचतो दिस इज अवर यु नो रुटीन अँड दिस इज कॉल्ड वॉट हे आपले मेथडच आहे ना एक पर्टिक्युलर प्रोसेस आपण फॉलो करतो उठल्यापासून कॉलेज सॉरी ऑफिस ला निघण्यापासून घरी येईपर्यंत सो दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड अ मेथड सो वेन यू वॉन्ट टू कंडक्ट वेन यू वॉन्ट टू कम्प्लीट युअर रिसर्च वन पर्टिक्युलर प्रोसेस इज फॉलोड अँड दॅट पर्टिक्युलर प्रोसेस दॅट पर्टिक्युलर फ्रेमवर्क इज कॉल्ड ॲज रिसर्च डिझाईन ॲज वेल ॲज रिसर्च मेथडॉलॉजी सो टुडे यू आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस टू बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट विच आर व्हेरी मच युजफुल अँड व्हेरी मच सिम्पल ॲज फार ॲज अंडरस्टँडिंग इज कन्सर्न अँड दोज आर 
research design and research methodology. Uh, please allow me to share my screen so that I can show you my PPT and the content of PPT. Okay, is my screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So just now I have given an idea about the concept of uh, research design and the concept of research methodology. So this one is the topic uh, topics which we are discussing discussing today. So as I have given an idea about these two concepts, so we can directly go for the contents. So whenever uh, we think about the concept of design, there are certain words uh, which you know always uh, uh, click in our mind and those words are certain things that we follow, certain procedure we follow, certain way of conducting research and all. So this research design is nothing but what? It is a blueprint, a blueprint of your uh, research. So why this blueprint is made? Blueprint is made to collect your data. Whatever data is collected, that data is measured by using some scales. Remember, we collect the data and that data is measured by collecting some, by sorry, by applying some measurement tools or measurement scales. For example, nominal scale is there, then ordinal scale is there. So by using those particular scales, we are going to see all those skills in uh, analysis part. So just I'm giving an idea. So blueprint is made to collect the data, to measure the data and to analyze the data. What I told you, necessary part or basic part is already we have done in uh, constructing the statement of uh, problem, then uh, developing the objectives and uh, designing the hypothesis. Basic part is over. Now the actual work will start. And when you want to start the actual work, in the, in the task of actual work, certain things are there. What are those things? Collection of data is the first aspect. When you complete with your literature, when you complete with your first topic, the second part is left, that is collection of data. Whatever industry, whatever uh, subject or sector that you guys have selected, from those sources, you have to collect the data. That is the only part. And when you go for data collection, you have to decide the policy, how to collect the data, then how to measure the data, then how to analyze the data. So that particular policy is called as blueprint. Blueprint means the topic is final. topic final. अपन objectives उद्देश्य ग्रहित के लिए तो उद्देश्य के लिए तो अन्य अपन समस्या भी दान लेतो अपन चारंतर जो पाठ शुरू होतो अपना actual कामल शुरुआत करतो कामल शुरुआत करतो मुझे क्या है संबंधित घटकांश शा अपन बोला शुरुआत करतो संबंधित घटकांश बोलना महत्ती खाला शुरुआत करतो प्रश्न वाली बनोतो ये सगड़ा करने � is called as research design. Then, uh, see, uh, when we were student, there was happened with their theoto. So those days also we get have made our uh, design of st uh, study design. So what we do, we uh, uh, at the beginning only we decided that we guys uh, decided that we have to secure ninety percent marks or eighty percent marks. And if you want to achieve eighty percent or ninety percent marks, then should there should be a blueprint of study planning in your mind and accordingly we have made a plan of uh, six hour study in a day till the examination so that is called as design which was there regarding uh, securing good marks in the examination so this is here also you are going to complete your research in uh, given duration in given period for example three years and if you want to complete that you should have one tech one uh, design you should have one uh, methodology to achieve that and this is what it is called what collection of data, measurement of data, analysis of data. And if you want to go for all those things, there should be one particular pattern. There should be one particular blueprint. There is one particular roadmap. And that particular roadmap is called as research design in a simple manner. Tell us upon the cap and method of now collection capacity, measurement capacity, if you want to put the thing up on data analysis, karna rahot. This I think up like a count up until like an outline of what the researchers will do from writing the hypothesis and its operational implications to the final analysis of data. 
ह्याच्यामध्ये आपल्याला अजून असंही म्हणता येईल वी कॅन से वन मोर थिंग फॉर दिस इट इज अन आउटलाईन विच रिसर्चर हॅज मेड आफ्टर रायटिंग हायपोथिसिस ऑर विथ द बेसिस ऑफ हायपोथिसिस वी डिसाईड वॉट टू वॉट टू बी डन टू कम्प्लीट द डेटा ऑर टू कम्प्लीट द रिसर्च हायपोथिसिसच्या बेसिसवरती आपण डिरेक्शन्स मिळतात आपल्याला सम हायपोथिसिस आर डिरेक्शनल हायपोथिसिस ऑल्सो अँड फ्रॉम दोज हायपोथिसिस वी गेट सम डिरेक्शन अँड अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिरेक्शन वी स्टार्ट द वर्क अँड फायनली वी अनलाईज द डेटा सो दिस इज जस्ट अँड आउटलाईन टू कम्प्लीट युअर रिसर्च बेस्ड ऑन युअर हायपोथिसिस रिमेंबर तुमचे जे काही ग्रहितक असतात त्याच्या आधारावरती एक आपण आउटलाईन तयार करतो अँड तीच आउटलाईन आउटलाईन म्हणजे नथिंग बट वॉट ज्याला आपण लेआउट म्हणतो स्ट्रक्चर म्हणतो आउटलाईन म्हणतो आराखडा म्हणतो आणि तोच आराखडा आपण वापरून पुढचं फायनल अनालिसिस करत असतो आणि इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर ऑल दोज ऍक्टिव्हिटीज विच इज डन आफ्टर लिटरेचर रिव्ह्यू दोज आर द पार्ट ऑफ वॉट रिसर्च डिझाईन इन अ सिम्पल मॅन सो सी हाऊ टू गो फॉर डिझाईन हाऊ टू डिसाईड ऑर हाऊ टू सिलेक्ट अ प्रॉपर डिझाईन फॉर युअर टॉपिक तुमच्या टॉपिकला कसं तुम्ही प्रॉपर डिझाईन सिलेक्ट करा if you want to select a if you want to select an appropriate design or research design for your research then you need to ask some questions to yourself if you are able to ask these questions to yourself and at the same time if you are able to answer these questions to yourself definitely you will be able to decide which design is suitable for you so do not ask these questions to yourself right now just ask questions after the end of the lecture or after finishing the lecture and then decide what is the best and suitable research design for your research itta mi tumhala ek kay prashna dile je tumhala kharas tumcha research proposal swatah sal banvaycha sel kiwa swatah banvaycha sel tar tumhi research design banat asta research design choose karat asta na tumhala swatah kay prashna vicharache ani tya prashna ki uttar sudha tumhalaas dyaache ata tumhala kutlehi uttar deta yenar nahi karan pudcha part aplyala adun bagaycha त्यावेळेस तुम्ही हे लेक्चर कम्प्लीट होईल त्यावेळेस तुम्ही हे प्रश्न तुम्हाला विचारा त्यानंतर तुम्हीच त्याची उत्तरं द्या वाटलं तर हे कागदावर लिहून काढा आणि ज्यावेळेस तुम्ही त्याची उत्तरं देऊ शकाल त्यावेळेस मात्र तुम्ही स्वतःच रिसर्च डिझाईन स्वतः ठरवू शका एवढा माझा कॉन्फिडन्स आहे नेक्स्ट सो हिअर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रिसर्च डिझाईन इन अ प्रिसाईज मॅनर अगेन तो सी रिसर्च डिझाईन इज अ फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ रिसर्च मेथड्स अँड टेक्निक्स चोजन बाय अ रिसर्चर so see as i told you it's a blueprint it's a it's an outline so here i am going to say research design is a framework of research methods and techniques which are chosen by researchers to complete the research what does it mean that particular research de- researcher has decided to go for a certain framework which is there in the mind of research pratyek researcher cha manamadhe ek certain framework aste the framework jab teni tharvle asel and why this framework is designed this framework is designed to go for the methods and techniques which are there to complete the research so methods and techniques also we are discussing then the design allows researchers to hone or sharpen in on research methods that are suitable for the subject matter and set up their studies up for success so see here whatever <coughs> methods and suitable uh, you know subjects matters are there if that researcher wants to sharpen them whenever you start your work you have to sharpen your weapons somebody said like that if you want to go for a war then you have to sharpen your weapons so similarly if you want to go for a researcher as a researcher you have to sharpen your weapons which is called about whatever methods and uh, subject matters you guys have decided to make your success uh, make your research successful then that you have to do and this one is the uh process of sharpening the uh, methods and tools that you always had to complete the research now when it comes to uh, types of research designs basically there are three types of research designs we have we go for three types of research designs in general manner and those uh, three types of research are qualitative research quantitative research and mixed बऱ्याच वेळा आपण फक्त आपण जे काही रिसर्च करत असतो हे तीन कॅटेगरीजमध्ये मिक्स होतात ह्या तीन कॅटेगरीजमध्ये येतात पहिली कॅटेगरी आहे ज्याला क्वालिटी म्हणतो आपण दुसरी क्वांटिटेटिव्ह संख्यात्मक आणि मिक्स्ड काही काही रिसर्च असे असतात की याच्यामध्ये दोन्हींचा सहभाग असतो 
काही फक्त क्वालिटी असतात काही फक्त क्वांटिटी असतात मोस्टली द रिसर्चर्स दॅट वी डू इन द फील्ड ऑफ मॅथमॅटिक्स अँड स्टॅटिस्टिक्स बाय द वे इन फायनान्स ऑल्सो दोज आर बेस्ड ऑन क्वांटिटेटिव्ह डेटा बट आय हॅव सीन सम रिसर्चर्स विच आर कंडक्टेड इन फायनान्स दोज आर हॅव्हिंग मिक्स्ड बॅकग्राऊंड so there is a use of qualitative research and there is a use of quantitative research also and uh, especially those uh, uh, especially in social sciences by the way or humanities by the way uh, the type of research design that we apply that is mixed design because we have the combination and whenever there is a combination it is called as mixed research design under this research de- uh, designs researchers can choose between different types of research methods as i told you there are different types of research methods that we use i'm going to show you what sort of methods we have in research and what sort of methods that we follow that we apply while conducting the research apan research karat astana baryaas research methods sa vapar karat asto to mala suddha ata ya vesh tumhi research methods sa ullekh kara ya vesh tumhi mala suddha baryaas vela lokanna thodasa confuse hone shakyata hai pan tasa hu deu naka karan research he vegvela prakar che astat vishesh tar social sciences madhe tar khup scope hai कारण डायमेन्शन बदलले की मेथड बदलते मेथड बदलले की टेक्निक्स बदलत असतात सो एक्सपेरिमेंटल स्टडीज सर्वेज वी कंडक्ट वी गो फॉर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स आपण वेगवेगळे असे प्रयोग करतो सर्वेज करतो को रिनेशनल स्टडीज करतो आपण सहसंबंध दाखवण्याचा प्रयत्न करतो जसं अभ्यास अभ्यासाची पद्धत आणि परीक्षेमध्ये मिळणारे मार्क्स इफ यू आर गोईंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस टू डेफिनेटली इट इज इट शोज को रिलेशन इट इज कॉल्ड ॲज को रिलेशनल स्टडीज then or uh, the next one is oshir experimental review studies so that is also there so here n number of methods of research we are going to follow when we want to go for actual research the methods should apni the vichar karnar aho then these are the elements of research designs when it comes to the elements of research designs all these are the elements of research design just look at this so uh, it starts with purpose statement then techniques then methodologies then objections settings pipelines measurement analysis method this part of knowledge i have i'm showing this uh, you guys have to just understand what are the elements of research designs actually there is no need to write uh, elements of research designs in research proposal just understand the concepts so that we can go ahead uh, research elements tumhala mudda mun khara tar mi dakhle तुमच्याकडे लक्षात राहू त्याच्याला तुम्हाला पुढे जाऊन तुमचं नुसतं तुम्हाला प्रपोजलच लिहायचं नाही सी माय अप्रोच इज नॉट टू गाईड यू टू राईट युअर रिसर्च प्रपोजल माय अप्रोच थ्रू दिस वर्कशॉप और बाय कंडक्टिंग दिस वर्कशॉप इज नॉट ओनली द रिसर्च प्रपोजल आय एम टार्गेटिंग युअर रिसर्च थेसेस दॅट यू गाईज आर गोईंग टू कम्प्लीट आफ्टर थ्री इयर्स तुम्ही तीन वर्षानंतर किंवा तीन वर्षांनी तुमचा रिसर्च थेसेस कम्प्लीट होणार आहे तो उद्देश लक्षात ठेवून मी सगळे कंटेंट्स बनवतोय and if you see tomorrow's content and day after tomorrow's content you will understand what sort of thought is there in my mind why or what sort of thought was there in my mind while uh, making this ppts or contents uh, types of research designs as i told you uh, there are three different types of research designs that we usually follow in our day to day life while conducting research uh, research karta asthana apan basically ya teen research designs cha so vapar karat asto मी मग म्हटल्याप्रमाणे क्वांटिटेटिव्ह देन क्वालिटेटिव्ह अँड नेक्स्ट म्हणजे दॅट इज द कॉम्बो ऑफर वेअर वी गो फॉर क्वांटिटेटिव्ह अँड क्वालिटेटिव्ह सायमल्टेनियसली अँड दॅट इज कॉल्ड अबाउट मल्टी मेथड ऑल्सो अँड दॅट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ॲज मिक्स्ड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ॲज मल्टी मेथड ऑर मल्टी डिझाईन्स सो दीज आर दिंग्स ॲज फार ॲज टाईप्स ऑफ रिसर्च डिझाईन्स आर कन्सर्न नाव द फर्स्ट वन people are confused about the first one but name reflects everything naam mein sab kuch likha hai naam mein sab kuch hai naav ata sagla kai dadle tar tumhi yacha naav ata jari vichar kela na kai yacha madhe kai asel mi jar tumhala vicharla kai na sangta tar tumhi sudha sangu shakta laksha dya mi mantoy mi maga tumhala sangitle pramane just i just now i told you when it comes to quantitative research this quantitative research is conducted especially in mathematics subject like mathematics subject like uh, you know uh, statistics basically uh, there is a use scope for quantitative research in statistics i think sir is uh, pranay sir is here from statistics he will tell us uh, the use of um, quantitative research in statistics then uh, it is also useful for accounts it is also useful in uh, finance it is also useful in economics also so these are the areas where quantitative research is mainly conducted mainly undertaken uh, 
And uh, what is this quantitative research that I'm going to tell you in a brief manner? Actually, I'm not here to teach you the concepts. I'm going to teach you the application of those concepts in research. So that is my you know, ultimate aim of conducting this one. Otherwise, you can go through the content and you can also able to understand what is quantitative, what is qualitative and all. So concepts you know. And concepts you can get by reading also. But I'm going to tell you the application of those concepts in actual research. And this is what uh, these kind of things are taken here. So in quantitative research, you have to learn concepts in the concepts. In the concepts of research, you have to learn application. Yesterday, only I said that Asian question, people have to appreciate it. That there are two kinds of knowledge. There are two kinds of questions, two kinds of questions. Application based and knowledge based. Knowledge but when we go to apply the knowledge in our day to day life, it becomes the application. But I think I'm going to learn that as to keep pare upon ship to pare. Pare the Tasaka Aplella Munje knowledge as a Kayo Pugni, part for two, part for two, when the Upyoka Sahoto, Javas upon Vavara Made Zato, Javas upon Vavara Made, Kam Kras was for two, Tavas the Padans Aplopio. अंदर आधुनिक मला नेमी प्रश्न सतावत असं की तुम्ही उत्तर शोधलं काय होतं की आपण 10 वी पर्यंत 12 वी पर्यंत तसंतर आमचा म्हणजे माझा माझा विशेष वैयक्तिक संबंध माझा संबंध मॅथमॅटिक्स चा फक्त 10 वी पर्यंतच नंतर कॉमर्स ला ऍडमिशन घेतल्यामुळे फक्त काय होतं फिगर्स अँड फॅक्ट्स चे संबंध येत गेले आणि ते काही मोठं मॅथमॅटिक्स नव्हतं तर मला प्रश्न पडतात की हे ज्योमेट्री सारखे एवढे टफ विषय का असतात तुम्ही अल्जेब्रा मध्ये ते आपण म्हणतो ना इक्वेशन्स असतात ए प्लस बी प्लस uh, into bracket square, as a very tedious examples as such. As a name of Kayu Puge, Kadikadi Malaprasna Paresa, for Nantar me eka mathematics to teach a level child, like your tedious examples, geometry the Malagadi awardless name would be the Sarkavisha. The Kaseta, the Yavisha and Chamatematun, Tumso logic develop with them, and they develop the real logic to make them child the Varamade Waparta, Monuni Karevisha, the lab that was a test. त्याच्यासाठी क्वांटिटेटिव्ह रिसर्च मध्ये सुद्धा आपल्याला थोडासा म्हणजे भाग घ्यायलाच हवा आहे तर क्वांटिटेटिव्ह रिसर्च म्हणजे व्हॉट द रिसर्च ऑफ द डेटा व्हिच इज इन नंबर्स रिमेंबर द डेटा ऑफ द वेअर वेअर द डेटा व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन नंबर दैट पर्टिकुलर रिसर्च इज कॉल्ड एज क्वांटिटेटिव्ह रिसर्च सो सी इन क्वांटिटेटिव्ह रिसर्च डिझाइन रिसर्चर एक्झामिन्स द व्हेरियस व्हेरिएबल्स व्हाइल इन्क्लूडिंग नंबर्स एज वेल एज स्टॅटिस्टिक्स इन रिसर्च स्टडी टू अनालाइज इट्स फाइंडिंग so see, when it comes to quantitative, it means what? It comes to statistics. Remember, statistical data means what? Sankhya mahiti, sankhya data. Jama the numbers, ani akre astar. So this, in this kind of research, only numbers are used as a data, and on the basis of different variables, we try to use certain statistics in our research study, and we go for, we go to analyze, and it's finding those. Apply jika analysis karo to apante. The statistical information is the basis and the findings. Then second one, the use of graphics, figures, pie charts is the main form of data collection, major and meta analysis, sorry, measurement and data analysis. It is information about the data by data. So listen, when it comes to quantitative data, then when we analyze the quantitative data, automatically we create some graphs, we create some figures, we create some pie charts, we create some histograms. And that is called as what? Data analysis. And uh, when this kind of things are done in the research, it becomes quantitative research, remember one thing. And this is what the sentence which is written into, into the bracket, which is very important. It is information about the data by the data. Data is my data ni upon data, then I'm answer quantitative research. If I'm not audible, please tell me whether I'm audible or not. That you guys have to tell me. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now moving on to the next one, that is types of quantitative research. See, if we want to conduct quantitative research, then what can be done? Quantitative research kasa upon conduct karu shakto. How it can be conducted? It can be conducted through survey research. It can be conducted through correlational research. It can be conducted through experimental research. So see how it can be. If you want to conduct a survey, of this, to mother Ashafrakata survey character cell impact of GST on customers. So here we can have some data which is in the form of data, which is in the form of numbers. If you want to understand the correlation between two different variables, 
So there also you can you can go for quantitative research. Sorry, quantitative research. You have to conduct some experiments on the basis of data. Again, you can go for the quantitative research. So quantitative research is conducted by using three different methods, and these are the three different methods. Quantitative research, you have three methods of upper karun karu shakto. Next, qualitative research. This is totally vice versa. This is totally vice versa than the quantitative research. Here we have talked about the word qualitative. So by looking at the title, also we'll be able to understand. We can understand the concept of qualitative research, where words are used instead of numbers, where the in data, in data words are there, sentences are there, then some qualities are there, some properties are there, some attributes are there. Those which are written in the form of word, those which are written in the form of words. Here numbers are not used. Remember, here numbers are not used. Words are used, and this is what this kind of uh, particular research, which is conducted through the words or by using words, it is called as. Yes. Sir, आवाज़ इतनी है. ये तो है. बाकी चंद आवाज़ ये तो है क्या? ये तो. Yes sir. ये तो ये तो. Okay yes, sir. Okay, I request madam to uh, sit uh, sit a uh, such sit in such a place where you get you know proper network. आता ही तो क्या madam? हेलो बाकी सर नहीं तो है ना मैडम माजा करूँ तो सगाई ना आवाज़ जातो है मगर सी ये ना होता सर एक थोड़ा वाला बुरी आता ये तो हो सकता है ओके आता ये तो है ना ओ ये तो है सर ये तो है ओके ओके सॉरी सांगत चला लगे स्क्विक सांगत चला मंजे वी कैन हैव सम सोर्ट ऑफ एक्शन टू यू नो ओवरकम दैट so data in words ja vela apan data words madla data research sathi vaparto it becomes qualitative research for example mi tumhala mhatle ki kay attributes astat kay qualities astat jase ki kay properties astat kay variables apan geto for example if you want to go for behavioral study so there we can understand the character uh, you know uh, nature of the persons then we can understand some characteristics uh, tricks of the some persons so that becomes the words so I think somebody's mic is you know uh, me, uh, unmute. So please mute yourself. So here, in case of qualitative research, is a quite contrary to quantitative research design. As I told you, it is totally contrary. It is totally vice versa than the quantitative research. So how it is? Because in quantitative we go for data in numbers, and here in case of qualitative research we go for. data in words it's very simple anyone can tell this so it is explanatory in nature and always six answers to what's and how's so here uh, in case of qualitative research two types of questions are always asked and we write the explanation of those two type of questions what are they wh questions we call them wh questions i think uh, if nobody is here from you know language language background so in uh, language there are two types of questions which are called as wh questions and yes no type questions wh manje ja prashna chi shuruvat w ani h ni shuruvat hote ani yes no manje jacha uttar yes kiwa no madhe ast ashe questions ast so here we write the explanation of those questions in the form of what qualitative research it mainly focuses on why a specific theory exists and what would be the respondents answer to it so here we are going to find out the theory which will be there as a part of respondents answer so there is a focus and the main focus is on the answer of the respondent we ask some questions we prepare questionnaire we prepare questionnaire to collect the data and the answer the main focus is on the answer of the respondent this allows a researcher to draw a conclusion with proper findings when we collect the data then we go for analysis we draw conclusion and we write फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ द रिसर्च अपन डेटा कलेक्ट करतो करोर अपन कन्क्लूजन ड्रॉ करतो कन्क्लूजन लिखो फाइंडिंग सुधा लिखो सोब सजेशन सुधा दी सो बेसिकली वॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ यू नो स्टडीज आर कंडक्टेड अंडर क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च के स्टडीज ज्यादा बारेपैकी मेनली यूज इन क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च डिजाइन इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरियस सोशल कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज रिमेम्बर जे का क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च होता केस स्टडीज का बारेपैकी समावेश so case studies are the main part and parcel of qualitative research remember so see we go for case studies we write case studies i think in commerce and management we write case studies where we ask students to write a case studies in their day to day is uh, you know lectures and all or as a, now that is nowadays uh, case studies are the part and parcel of their curriculum 
so that is sort of qualitative research and uh, and this one is the basic concept that which we guys have understood as far as uh, qualitative research is concerned so see uh, these are the types of qualitative research kashala qualitative research manaycha ya sagla goshti tumhala apply karaycha so try to understand the concept first mi tumhala mhatle na ki tumcha aaj vichar suru honar hai ki mi jo nevadlela topic hai whatever topic i have selected whether it is a part of qualitative or qualitative or quantitative or combined one to mi aaj लेक्चर संपल विचार सुरू के विचार सुरू समेम दे आर स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग अबाउट युअर टाइटल वेदर माय टाइटल कम्स अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ क्वांटिटेटिव क्वालिटेटिव और कंबाइंड वन सो यू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट इट एंड दिस दीज आर द टाइप्स ऑफ क्वांटिटेटिव क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च वन ऑन वन इंटरव्यू फोकस ग्रुप्स इथनोग्राफिक रिसर्च के स्टडी रिसर्च रेकॉर्ड कीपिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन so all those are the part of qualitative research and if you want to go for qualitative research these kind of things are followed just remember this this is for information purpose i have given here okay sub types of quantitative and qualitative research just look at this when it comes to uh, actually there are three types of research that we conduct in our general day to day practices those are quantitative qualitative and combined one but these two quantitative and qualitative research are divided into four major parts remember those four uh, two uh, research designs are divided into four major parts and those four major parts are am i audible ava geto na maza proper yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir descriptive is okay descriptive research design correlated research design experimental research design quasi experimental research design so these are the four one and whatever research we guys are doing those are coming under these four categories just we need to understand under which category my research title is that is apple show that thing that we are going to find out ya char paiki tumcha prakar ahe ya char cha bahar janaras nahi pahile do main त्याच्यामध्ये तुम्हाला कन्फ्युजन होत असेल तर मग आणखी त्याच्यामध्ये थोडस व्हॉट वी कॉल इट स्पेसिफिकेशन दिले अँड दीज आर दोर फोर वन सो दीज फोर टाइप्स ऑफ रिसर्च डिझाईन आर कन्सिडर्ड द मोस्ट क्लोज अँड एक्झॅक्ट टू ट्रू एक्सपेरिमेंट अँड आर प्रेफर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ अॅक्युरसी रेलेव्हन्स अँड ऍज वेल ऍज क्वालिटी सो दीज आर दोर रिसर्च डिझाईन विच आर प्रेफरबली ऍक्सेप्टेड बाय द रिसर्चर्स टू मेंटेन द क्वालिटी अशुरन्स रेलेव्हन्स अँड अॅक्युरसी if you want to maintain these kind of three major qualities of research then you go for these four yacha paikit aapla research asto kutha asto kiwa kutlya madhe aapla basnar hai tumhi te end la kiwa udya mala sanga then what is descriptive research design descriptive jala apan mhanto savistar kiwa ata jala marathit mala shabd nahi sapadat par apan mhanto ki descriptive mhanje khup asa likhanatmak kiwa explanatory apan jala manu shakto spashti karna varnanatmak varnanatmak yes थँक यू मॅडम वर्णनात्मक रिसर्च डिझाईन आपण त्याला म्हणू शकतो त्याच्यामध्ये वी नीड टू राईट सम एक्सप्लेनेटरी नोट्स ओव्हर दॅट सो हिअर इन केस ऑफ इन डिस्क्रिप्टिव्ह रिसर्च डिझाईन द स्कॉलर एक्सप्लेन्स डिस्क्राईब्स द सिच्युएशन ऑफ केस इन डेप्थ इन देअर रिसर्च मटेरियल अशा प्रकारच्या रिसर्च डिझाईनमध्ये जो काही स्कॉलर्स असतात ते राईट ऑर दे ट्राय टू एक्सप्लेन ऑर डिस्क्राईब द सिच्युएशन विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ देअर रिसर्च मटेरियल तुम्ही ज्यावेळेस असा रिसर्च करत असता त्यावेळेस तुम्हाला काही गोष्टी परफसफुली डिस्क्राईब करत असतात एक्सप्लेन करत असतात अँड दॅट एक्सप्लेनेशन दॅट डिस्क्रिप्शन इज द पार्ट अँड पार्सल ऑफ युअर रिसर्च फॉर एक्झाम्पल तुम्ही एखाद्या काय म्हणतो आपण त्याला एज्युकेशनच्या एखाद्या टॉपिकवरती रिसर्च करत आहे त्याच्यामध्ये तुम्हाला काय म्हणतो आपण एखाद्या कारणांचा शोध घ्यायचा आहे की बाबा मुलांचा ड्रॉप आउट रेट का आवड मुलींचा ड्रॉप आउट रेट का आवडतोय तर ह्याच्यासाठी तुम्हाला यु नीड टू एक्सप्लेन यु नीड टू डिस्क्राईब सर्टन रिझन्स बिहाइंड द ड्रॉप रेट ऑफ गर्ल्स एज्युकेशन सो यु आर गोईंग टू एक्सप्लेन दॅट यु आर गोईंग टू डिस्क्राईब दॅट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सर्टन डेटा कलेक्टेड बाय यु यु आर नॉट गोईंग टू राईट इन नंबर यु आर गोईंग टू राईट इन स्टेटमेंट यु आर गोईंग टू राईट इन सेंटेन्सेस यु आर गोईंग टू राईट इन पॅराग्राफ्स तुम्ही ते पॅराग्राफ मध्ये लिहिणार आहात सेंटेन्स मध्ये लिहिणार आहात आणि त्याच्यामुळे इट इज फॉर वॉट डिस्क्रिप्टिव्ह रिसर्च then descriptive research design is purely on a theoretical basis as i told you it is a purely based on theoretical aspects where the individual collects data analyzes 
analysis uh, sorry analyze the data prepares and then presents it in an understandable manner त्याच्यामध्ये थेरॉटिकल बेस असल्यामुळे असल्यामुळे डेटा कलेक्ट केला जातो अनालाइज केला जातो त्यानंतर रिपोर्ट्स बनवला जातो आणि इट इज इट विल बी प्रेझेंटेड इन सच अ मॅनर दॅट एनीवन कॅन अंडरस्टँड सो हियर व्हॉट हॅपन्स इन दिस काइंड ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्टिव्ह रिसर्च इट इज टोटली अँड प्युअरली बेस्ड ऑन थेरॉटिकल एस्पेक्ट्स where the data is collected by the researcher instead of in, saying individual i can i must say in, uh, researcher so you also uh, uh, get this habit or uh, you should also get habitual by saying uh, me or myself do not write me and myself in the research thesis you guys have to write researcher instead of saying like that i have conducted the research so you guys have to say like that researcher has conducted the research researcher has collected the data so start uh, getting habitual with these words so a researcher will collect some data analyze the data report the reports and he or she or a researcher will present in an understandable manner so that is the descriptive research then it is the most generalized form of research design as i told you everybody nowadays in general generally people they are going for descriptive research rather than going for other three forms of research mostly what happens people they want to make their research simple means research process simple research activity simple and this is what people are going for this kind of uh, descriptive research and this is the most favored popular form of research design in the mind or amongst the researchers so here are certain methods of descriptive research how this res- descriptive research can be conducted asha prakar ta descriptive research apan kasa conduct karu shakto concept tar kalya apan aplyala but how it can be conducted it can be conducted through survey it can be conducted through observations it can be conducted through case studies so if you want to go for descriptive research malar kuni has a prashna vicharla ki sir kasa karnar ami descriptive research tar asa paddhatin tumhala descriptive research karayche if somebody ask me one question how it can be done so it can be done by using these three you know methods of descriptive research and if you go for any one of the methods of this three definitely will be complete will be able to complete descriptive research so this way it can be done next experimental research design see listen when uh, when we look at the title we under we can understand the concept of experimental experimental research design means what where experiment is the main base where experiments are conducted in that particular research design when you take this particular design for your research study it means are it it means that or by default it is very clear you are going to conduct some experiments for completing your research and this is what you know experiments are conducted to find out cause and effect a cause and effect uh, relationship between the two different variables so this is what i have written like this experimental research design talks about the cause and effect of the situation and the relationship with each other if you are taking two variables for the study or if you are taking two different variables for the experiment then through that particular experiment which you are conducting you are going to show that cause and effect between those cause and effect relationship between those two different variables whether it is independent or dependent tumhi je kai experimental research madhe karnar ahat hela apan kay manto prayogatmak asas na madam experiment la kay manacha prayogik ka प्रयोगात्मक सर प्रयोगात्मक असो प्रयोगात्मक रिसर्च डिझाईन मध्ये आपण काय करतो कॉज अँड इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप शोधून काढतो कशा मधली दोन व्हेरिएबल्स मधली इट इज डन अंडर द प्रॉपर ऑब्झर्वेशन ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट व्हेरिएबल्स ऑन द डिपेंडेंट व्हेरिएबल्स वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टँड द ऑब्झर्वेशन और प्रॉपर ऑब्झर्वेशन बिटवीन इंडिपेंडेंट अँड डिपेंडेंट ज्याला आपण म्हणतो ना डिपेंडेंट व्हेरिएबल मधला आणि इंडिपेंडेंट व्हेरिएबल मधला जे काही ऑब्झर्वेशन नाही वी कॅन ऑल्सो फाइंड आउट बाय डुईंग सम एक्सपेरिमेंट आपल्याला त्यासाठी एक्सपेरिमेंट करावे लागतील विशेषतः पीपल आर नॉट हिअर फ्रॉम सायकोलॉजी सायकोलॉजीमध्ये खूप असे आपण एक्सपेरिमेंट्स करत असतो जे एज्युकेशनमधले लोक आहेत त्यांना एक एज्युकेशनल सायकोलॉजी नावाचा एक विषय असतो त्याच्यामध्ये असे बरेच आपण एक्सपेरिमेंट्स करतो आणि वी ट्राय टू अंडर वी ऑब्झर्व थ्रू एक्सपिरियन्स सॉरी एक्सपेरिमेंट देन द इंडिपेंडेंट व्हेरिएबल इज ऑलवेज चेंज और मॅनिप्युलेटेड बाय द रिसर्चर इन ऑर्डर टू चेंज द डिस्कोर्स ऑफ द रिसर्च अँड टू गेन कंट्रोल ओवर द रिसर्च मेथॉलॉजी बऱ्याच वेळा रिसर्चरच्या माध्यमातून 
जे का इंडिपेन्डंट वेरिएबल चेंज कर रिप्लेस कर उद्देश्य हाथ मेथोलॉजी तुम्हें अप्लाय के लिए सुटेबल है कि नहीं यू फॉन्ट टू गेन अ कंट्रोल ओवर दैट रिस मेथोलॉजी इंडिपेन्डंट वेरिएबल आर चेंज एंड मैनिपुलेटेड फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ नोइंग समथिंग न्यू फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द पर्टिक्युलर थिंग्स फ्रॉम दैट बयाच वे इंडिपेन्डंट वेरिएबल बयाच वे चेंज के मैनिपुलेट कर जी का मेथोलॉजी कंट्रोल मिलते जस मन तो ना अपेक्षित रिजल्ट अपने घेता दिस वॉट इट कैन बी दिस वॉट इट इज मैनिपुलेटेड और चेंज सो दीज आर द टाइप्स ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च डिजाइन्स एंड थ्रू दोज डिजाइन्स वी कैन कंप्लीट दिस Pre experimental research design for information that I have given. True experimental research design, then quasi experimental research design. So these are the three major designs that we go for. Then the next one is correlational research design. It shows it again when we look at the title, we can understand there is a correlation. So correlation is between is there between two different variables. We are going to find out what sort of correlation is there. What sort of association is there? Between these two different variables. Suppose you guys have decided this. You guys have decided to go for topic like this. Me asa ek topic tharo le. Finance matla topic hai. You are going to analyze the financial performance analysis of public sector banks and private sector banks. So there are two variables: public sector banks and private sector banks. And if you are going to understand the correlations between these two kind of banks, these two, if you are going to find out the association between these two kind of banks, then this kind of correlational research design. People mostly they go for comparative studies, but that's why people go to learn from the best character. English medium, Madhuri Mula, and the Marathi medium, Madhuri Mula. In such a poor zone, one are career. I say, to learn from the best character. So, you, what you are going to show through your study, you are going to show correlation between English medium students and English Marathi medium students. So, that is called about correlational research design. टॉपिक कोरिलेशनल रिसर्च डिजाइन घेले इफ युअर टॉपिक रिलेट्स टू टू डिफरेंट वेरिएबल्स एंड इफ यू आर गोइंग टू शो द असोसिएशन और कोरिलेशन बिटवीन दिस बिटवीन दोस टू डिफरेंट वेरिएबल्स इट मीन फॉर यू शुड गो फॉर कोरिलेशनल रिसर्च डिजाइन फॉर युअर स्टडी वेरी सीम्पल तुम्हारा रिसर्च डिजाइन का वर करा लगे फर्दर इट ऑल्सो कम्प्लिटली नॉन एक्सपेरिमेंटल इन नेचर एंड द वेरिएबल्स आर डिपेन्डेंट ऑन ईच अदर रिसेन दिस इज नॉट द एक्सपेरिमेंटल वन Here the concept is what variables are dependent on each other. It lay independent variable nice, dependent variables. So this is what uh, this is the concept of actual uh, correlational study. Now there are three ways to do correlational research. The tumala three uh, correlational research karat asil. If you want to go for, if you want to undertake a correlational research, then there are three different ways to undertake it or uh, to go for it. Uh, naturalistic observation. survey application and documentary research if you want to go for that correlational these are the ways of conducting anantar tumcha je kai research hai tumhi ye madhe sudha basun bagu shakta you can apply these three ways for your research and if it is suitable then your research is correlational research then quasi experimental research design again quasi uh, we call it in marathi abhasi so quasi experimental research design is referred to as true experiment because it aims to intricately build a cause and effect so see intricately means what intricate i think this word is little bit new for you all intricate means what we are making little bit complex we are making it little bit complex we are making little bit uh, you know tedious how we are making it we are going to make it in we are going to uh, do those experiment in smaller and smaller parts and when we divide into smaller and smaller parts it automatically becomes intricate or it automatically becomes complicate so in this particular quasi experiment research design we go for smaller smaller experiments under the same title and this is what it is called as quasi experiment research design so see instead of conducting one specific experiments we conduct different experience so experiments to understand the cause uh, to understand the relationship which is based on cause and effect then it indicates relationship between independent variable and dependent variable okay itha aplyala dependent variable and independent variable matlab sudha relations kalu shakta through through conducting 
costly experimental research design. I request all the participants to mute themselves. If you talk in between, uh, it you know it uh, disturbs me a lot. I lose my concentration in that. Case. Sorry. Uh, one unique aspect about this research design is it doesn't base itself on a random assignment, but rather it assigns subjects to diverse group or a non-random basis. So it is not based on random assignment. It is based on, sorry, this one is a unique aspect. What is a unique aspect? Quasi experiment research design or quasi experiment research is a unique aspect. How? It doesn't base itself on a random assignment. Rather, it assigns subject to diverse group on a non-random basis. So here, random assignment is not there. There is a non-random assignment to diverse means various groups. So uh, by using this particular technique, mostly uh, people don't go for this quasi experimental research design because, uh, you know, uh, as it is, uh, intrication is there. People go for intricate the data to intricate the data. And when they go for intricate the data, it becomes complex. So most of the researchers, they do not uh, go for this kind of quasi experimental research design. They go for uh, descriptive research design, which is very popular among the uh, researchers, no doubt, it is useful also. Then these are the examples of that quasi experimental research design, non-experimental, quasi experimental, and experimental. That is RCT, that is randomized control trial. Just for information, it is given. Now the main four parts we have discussed. Now there are certain other research designs that we come across, but mostly we go for those four. Not four, only three we go. Fourth one we do not uh, go in our usual practice. So here are some certain other research designs that we apply in our research. In certain subjects, those are applicable. Uh, diagnostic research design, explanatory research design, historical one, then longitudinal designs, observational design, philosophical design, sequential design, cross-sectional design, cohort design, casual design, case study design, action research design. So these are the uh, names which I have given as a reference for you guys. Uh, just for the information, these names are given. Let's go through that. Now, the most and the second important aspect of uh, today's session, methodology. Methodology, when it comes to methodology, it is a pattern. It is a certain procedure that we follow. Methodology means what we call method. Any methodology, I think uh, the people, those who are from educational background, they will uh, tell us the difference of methodology and method. So research methodology is a specific procedures or techniques used to identify, select, process, and analyze information about a topic. So if you topic, you can identify and select and analyze the process and analysis the information, then methodology is used. So what is this methodology means exactly? Methodology means a particular process, specific process or techniques. There is upon a other topic, then the upon research designed to then the work of methodology will start. Then the methodology comes through. If you think that my topic is designed suitable, then according to the design of your research, you can have to decide the procedure and techniques which are applicable for your research. Why methodology is there? Because by using that methodology, you are going to collect the data, then you are going to analyze the data, you are going to uh, draw inferences from the data, then you are going to draw conclusion from your data, even you are going to write findings and you are, you are going to suggest something as suggestions. And for that, this methodology is the most important aspect. In a research paper, the methodology section allows the reader to critically evaluate a study's overall uh, validity and reliability. When you write your methodology in research papers, we do write research papers. Upon research papers are the latest too. And uh, the most tragedy in writing the research paper is what? We write research papers in a day, in a night, in one hour, in two hours, where we do not talk, uh, think about the actual and proper way of writing research papers. We do not think about the actual methodology which is applicable for writing a research paper. If readers, those who are reading your research papers, if they go through your research methodology, they will be able to understand the validity and reliability of your research. 
म्हणतो ना आपण तुम्ही सुद्धा ज्यावेळेस तुम्ही थेसिस जमा कराल ना तुमचा त्यावेळेस तुमचा जो काही रेफरी असतो द रेफरी हु इज देअर टू इव्हॅल्युएट युअर रिसर्च थेसिस विल गो थ्रू द मेथडॉलॉजी यूज फॉर द रिसर्च तेवढंच बघतो बाकी काही बघत नाही रिमेंबर तुमच्या रिसर्च मधला जो टॉपिक असतो तो म्हणजे आर एम त्या टॉपिकचं नाव आहे आर एम दुसरा किंवा काही लोक त्याला तिसरा पण करतात आर एम फक्त एवढाच वाचला जातो सगळ्यांकडून कारण त्याच्यामध्येच खरं काय म्हणतो आपण त्याला मुख्य गोष्टी असतात त्याच्यामध्ये सगळं काही दडलेलं असतं इफ आय गो थ्रू द मेथॉलॉजी रिटर्न बाय यू फॉर युअर रिसर्च आय कॅन अंडरस्टँड एव्हरीथिंग हाऊ यू आर कंडक्टेड द रिसर्च हाऊ वॉट अ टेक्निक्स यू हॅव युज वॉट टू वर द ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह वॉट वर द हायपोथिस हाऊ दोज ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह अँड हायपोथिस आर अच्युड ऑर नॉट वेदर दोज अच्युड ऑर नॉट एव्हरीथिंग कॅन आय आय कॅन अंडरस्टँड बाय गोईंग थ्रू द रिसर्च मेथॉलॉजी सो दिस इज वॉट यू गॅट हॅव टू सिलेक्ट अ प्रॉपर मेथॉलॉजी फॉर युअर रिसर्च मी म्हणतो ना त्याचं ज्याला हा आर एम जमलं त्याला रिसर्च जमला ज्याला रिसर्च मेथॉलॉजी लिहिता आली किंवा ज्याला रिसर्च मेथॉलॉजी कळाली त्याला रिसर्च कळाला आणि तो नक्कीच पुढे जाऊन सगळ्यांना गाईड करू शकतो दिस वॉट आर एम इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट आस्पेक्ट दन मेथॉलॉजी सेक्शन अँडसर्स टू मेन क्वेश्चन वाय मेथॉलॉजी मेथॉलॉजी सेक्शन अँडसर टू मेजर क्वेश्चन ऑफ द रिसर्च वॉट आर दे हाऊ वॉज द डेटा कलेक्टेड अँड जनरेटेड डेटा कसा कलेक्ट केला आणि कसा जनरेट केला अँड द सेकंड वन वॉट एव्हर डेटा इज कलेक्टेड अँड जनरेटेड हाऊ इट वॉज अनालाइज if we want to understand these two questions answers of these two questions if we want to find out answers of these two questions then rm is important and rm basically talks about these two questions in rm there are the answers of these two questions ya don prashna je uttar tumhala rm madhe milta so remember always think about the rm as i uh, you know told you whenever you are there to write your research proposal take extra one hour तुम्हाला जर वाटत असेल की माझं पाच तासामध्ये आर एम सॉरी रिसर्च प्रपोजल कम्प्लीट होईल आय सजेस्ट यू टू गो फॉर वन मोर एक्स्ट्रा आर टू थिंक अबाउट द आर एम वन्स द आर एम इज डिसाइडेड वन्स द आर एम इज डिसाइडेड अँड रिटर्न बाय यू इन द प्रपोजल अँड इफ इट इज इफ इट इज ऍक्सेप्टेड बाय द युनिव्हर्सिटी आफ्टर दॅट यू कॅनॉट चेंज द आर एम ऑल्सो यू कॅनॉट कॅनॉट चेंज युअर ऑब्जेक्टिव यू कॅनॉट चेंज युअर हायपोथिस यू कॅनॉट चेंज युअर tools used for analysis you cannot change the way of data collection also once it is finalized and if you want to change there is a procedure and it will take one year or six months or more than six months to get it done and test this karal basu shakat nahi apan karan same procedure we have to follow so rr committee kad jata mat te bagta mat te tala manjur dela ek dev varsh lagta it is a very headache tyacha mula tumhi tya vesh tumhi rm lihal tumcha proposal madhe आता उद्याच्या मग असेल किंवा नंतर तुम्ही ज्यावेळेस फायनल द्याल त्यावेळेस सुद्धा दहा वेळा विचार करून घ्या टेक थिंक टेन टाइम्स अँड देन राईट युअर आर एम बिकॉज आर एम इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ युअर रिसर्च बिकॉज एव्हरीथिंग इज बेस्ट ऑन युअर आर एम ओनली नो यू आर गोईंग टू कलेक्ट द डेटा ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आर एम यू आर गोईंग टू अनालाइज द डेटा ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आर एम यू आर गोईंग टू राईट युअर कन्क्लुजन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आर एम यू आर गोईंग टू राईट फायडिंग्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आर एम यू आर गोईंग टू सजेस्ट गिव सजेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आर एम सो एन्टायर थिंग्स आर बेस्ट ऑन द आर एम and this is what rm is the main and important aspect or heart and soul of your research next the research methodology it covers the following points already we have covered uh, you know that uh, statement of problem objective and hypothesis this one those are not taken here then uh, it covers the following points sources of data collection analysis of information how the means how the data is collected there are different methods of data collection then there are different tools to analyze the information collected through uh, different sources then period of coverage uh, basically study we go for the research studies for a particular period sometimes we go for 5 years 3 years 10 years like that so that should be mentioned in rm then scope of the study what is a scope of your research that should be mentioned while writing rm then you are going to write the limitations every study has its own limitations no study is complete there are certain limitations for every study remember pratyek study la maryada astat pratyek study cha scope asto pratyekata kalavadi asto maithi apan analysis karat asto tikta veglya margatun apan maithi gola karat asto tar ya sarva goshti tumhala lihayche ya ti ek jari gosht nasel tar tumhala reframe karal lavtat redraft your proposal asa remark hu shakto next so these are the sources of data collection taratra ha parvacha madla part apan thoda sa ita sandarbhala mhanun ghetlay परवा मी ह्याला खूप डिटेलमध्ये जाणार आहे सो 
so this is what i'm just this is this is what i'm just giving an idea about it uh, primary data uh, if you want to collect data there are different sources of data collection there are basically two sources don prakar cha madhyamatun apun data collect karu shakto ek prathamik mahiti ani duyam swarupachi mahiti so when it comes to primary data there are different methods that we follow to collect the primary data and those methods are observation methods interview method questionnaire method schedule method other methods in other methods there are three more case study method survey method and panel method so under that uh, these are the sources or these are the methods of collecting primary data in chart i have given in a precise manner just go through at home then these are the sources of secondary data collection secondary data sources can be collected through two major sources and those are published sources and unpublished sources if you go through the published sources you can understand what are the sources which can be called as published and through that we can collect second data duyam swarupachi maiti kashu gola karu shakto tejamadhe prakashit madhyam ani aprakashit madhyam asta ya doni cha vapar karun apan duyam swarupachi maiti gola karu shakto udhyacha lecture madhe sorry parvacha lecture madhe duyam kashala manacha prathamik sarva maiti kashala manacha that i am going to going to tell you in detail then no need to worry आपलं जे परवाचं लेक्चर आहे शेवटचं त्याच्यामध्ये हे सर्व गोष्टी प्रिसाईजली मी तुम्हाला सांगणार आहे तिथे थोडासा रेफरन्स आला म्हणून मी तुम्हाला इथे माहिती दिली तरी सुद्धा तुम्ही या पी पी टी आज मी तुम्हाला लगेच सेंड करेन थोडस घरी व्यवस्थित बघायला त्यानंतर वॉट एव्हर डेटा वी हॅव कलेक्टेड थ्रू बाय युझिंग डिफरंट सोर्सेस ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन डिफरंट सोर्सेस ऑफ बाय युझिंग डिफरंट मेथड ऑफ डेटा कलेक्शन दोज इन्फॉर्मेशन इज अनालाइज बाय युझिंग डिफरंट स्टॅटिस्टिकल tools and non statistical tools also so statistical tools i have taken here for your information i am going to talk about this in last session in a precise manner there no need to worry even i am going to show you one demo of uh, one software which is there for social sciences only and that is spss so uh, statistical uh, software package for social sciences me tumhala tyacha ek demo pan dakhonar hai how it can be used how the t test z test or f test can be done by using that software it's very simple and it's khup so innovative and creative and baraat lokana mahiti asel ki ona asel tari mi sangen tumhala de so by this kind of test can be used for analysis of your data t test f test uh, anoa manoa correlation multiple correlation regression etc there are n number of tools that we can use according to the need of your study lakshat theva according to the need of your study tumcha study chi garaj lakshat gehun हे सगळेच नाही वापरायचे यापैकी काय वापरतो तुम्हाला प्रपोजल मध्ये लिहावं लागणार आहे की मी हे टूल्स वापरणार आहे तुम्ही आता काही लिहिलं तरी तुम्हाला काही विचारणार नाही लक्ष ठेवा प्रपोजल मध्ये तुम्ही काही लिहू शकता की मी मॅनो मॅनो वापरणार आहे अनो वापरणार आहे पण ज्या वेळेस तुम्ही ऍक्च्युअल प्रपोजल तुमचं ह्याला जाईल अप्रूव्हल जाईल त्यावेळेस मात्र तुमचे ते प्रॉपरच असले पाहिजे त्यावेळेस तुमचा थेसिस करेक्ट तयार होईल त्यावेळेस ते तुम्ही जे वापरले तेच किंवा जे वापरणे शक्य होतं तेवढेच तुम्ही तिथे लिहिणे गरजेचं आहे काही लिहून चालणार नाही आताच्या स्टेजला ज्यावेळेस तुम्ही इंटरव्ह्यूला जाईल त्यावेळेस तुम्हाला परफेक्शनची गरज नाही तुम्ही यातले टूल तुम्हाला जे हवे ते लिहू शकता त्यामुळे काही कुठला प्रश्न येणार नाही त्यानंतर पिरियड ऑफ कव्हरेज ऍज आय टोल्ड यू इट इज अ कव्हरेज ऑफ टोटल पिरियड ऑफ द स्टडी फॉर एक्झाम्पल समटाइम्स वेन वी गो फॉर यु नो फायनान्शियल डेटा अनालिसिस वी टेक फायव्ह इयर्स डेटा सिक्स इयर्स डेटा टेन इयर्स डेटा then we go for you know certain types of study for example if i want to understand the drop rate of girls education then i have to take last 5 years data 10 years data so whatever period you are considering for your study that should be mentioned in the period of study some in certain research proposal it is not applicable there is no need to write kai kai thikani period mention karna garjesa nasta nahi nila tari chalta lihus naka so for example 3 years 5 years 10 years i have given as a part of an example which is the most important aspect then scope and limitations the scope of the study explain why scope is uh, written it explore about the research area see most of the time what happens people they do not understand the concept of scope lokanna scope manje vyakti sanshodhana chi vyakti manje he kai kalat nahi and titus baryasa lokancha problem hoto apun topic geto kai topic geto टॉपिक काय घेतो फॉर एक्झाम्पल एखादा मार्केटिंगचा टॉपिक असेल ऑनलाईन स्ट्रॅटजीज ऑनलाईन मार्केटिंग स्ट्रॅटजीज ऑफ काय म्हणतो आपण त्याला ऑनलाईन मार्केटिंग स्ट्रॅटजीज ऑफ ऑनलाईन ट्रेडर्स आणि आपण स्कोप लाच विसरतो म्हणजे पूर्ण इंडियातला का महाराष्ट्रातला का पुण्यातला का नगरचा हे लिहितच नाही आपण सो हिअर 
while writing the scope of your study mention the explored area up to what extent your research area is there what area you have covered under the scope of your study that should be mentioned त्यानंतर वी वी फगेट दॅट आणि त्यामुळं काही काही लोक टायटल खूप छान लिहितात फॉर एक्झाम्पल वॉट ऑनलाईन मार्केटिंग प्रॅक्टिसेस ऑफ ऑनलाईन ट्रेडर विथ रेफरन्स टू पुणे डिस्ट्रिक्ट ओके विथ रेफरन्स टू पुणे सिटी ओके व्हेरी गुड इट इज व्हेरी स्पेसिफाय द स्कोप ऑफ द स्टडी इज व्हेरी क्लिअरली मेन्शन युअर अँड दॅट इज एक्सपेक्टेड देन स्पेसिफिक पॅरामीटर्स विद इन द स्टडी विल बी ऑपरेटिंग सो वी कॅन अंडरस्टँड वॉट पॅरामीटर्स वी आर युझिंग इन द स्टडी वी आर applying in the study that those should be mentioned here then limitations it is also must huh? you all have to write as i told you no study is complete there are certain limitations for every study every study pratyek study la limitations hai and those limitations should be clearly mentioned you know rp that is the research proposal even in your uh, synopsis even in your abstract even in your final thesis also tumhala shorti ta tumhala artha ek page limitations badal lyao sakta kai kai limitations hai so here you guys have to talk about flaws and shortcomings uh, shortcomings then unavailability of resources such as small sample size flawed methodology sometimes methodology is not suitable kadhi kadhi chukte aple ekada point chukto that also you have to mention that no study is completely for flawless or inclusive of all possible aspects sagya study madhe sagle aspects asle ase nahi there are certain limitations and those limitations should be clearly mentioned and that when you write like that it, it becomes limitations and tumhala he rp madhe sudha lihaycha ata gnr property madhe sudha lihaycha so here uh, we have done with scope and limitations and i think uh, that one that one is a uh, last bit of today's session so thank you very much i have covered all those aspects which are there for design and methodology so please uh, allow me to stop my sharing and i'm getting back to the home screen so that i can answer i'll be able to answer your questions so now you all can you know unmute yourselves awesome i just yes, i right. want to ask one question that is in yes. quantitative research especially especially in experimental studies we take the pre test and post test right that score is called as quantitative which we gives in the yes. graph pi graph or uh, bar graph anything is it that only na because yes, somewhere correct. i was little bit confused correct thank you sir yes whatever it is just to come also yeah correct correct madam uh no no the score is also for the so can i ask question okay 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 sir come madam <coughs> Uh, sir i have one question uh like uh, like when i have done my yeah uh, sir i have done my education from the commerce background and if i wanted to choose a problem area which is which is pertaining to my uh, uh, basic work like yes, uh, basically i've done my commerce but i'm working in the education field so uh, can i do that Yes. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. 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 Madam, you are also audible. Uh, yes, but I think sir, uh, sir didn't get my voice. Okay. Just, just a minute, ma'am. Something is happening. I think I lost my connection. Yeah, yeah, you're audible, sir. But I was here too, Mala. Ah, then you must have heard the pagi. You must have heard the pagi. Something is happening. What's that? Can you hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, 
actually i i was able to see that i lost my connection okay madam please repeat your question please uh, yes sir sir i actually i was asking that uh, uh, is it mandatory to select a specific subject from the uh, commerce background only like uh, if i if i have done my education from the commerce background in and if i'm working in the education by, uh, field so if i wanted to do the research in the educational field only so is it mandatory to select the subject from the commerce only like accounting and finance only or i can choose a subject which is uh, related to my work okay so your background and your uh, working field is not uh, you know important here you tell me one thing uh, for what you have applied for phd have you applied for commerce or education commerce so you have to go for commerce sir. Okay. No, you cannot go for education. As you applied for commerce, so you have to go for commerce. Very simple. For which subject in commerce? Hello. Business administration. Yes. So you have to take one topic related to business administration. Very okay. Simple. Yes, ma'am. Sir, I Anyone have a else? question. Yes, yes. Sir. Basvaraj. Ah, uh, since I come in the late in the class, so I want to. details about the design a uh, topic a uh, topic detail design what you got in the session sir and if i talk about design and methodology again it will take so much of time so i yes, suggest sir, you yes. to go through the recordings please and if you don't understand then you uh, please ask me separate i will tell you just tell me what is the topic you covered in design okay today we have covered research design and research methodology so in brief i will tell you research design is nothing but what a blueprint a framework a procedure to conduct the research sir how many research design we can use in our uh, thesis we can go for combo see we can go for two at a time just now i told you quantitative and qualitative sir i can't Sometimes hear you uh, now can you hear me am i audible yes sir yes sir yes, yes sir audible. we can hear you uh, Yes, uh, Reshma, madam. Uh, yes, sir. See, as I told you, there are two, uh, there are three major research designs that we, you know, follow in research, and those are quantitative, qualitative, qualitative and combined. And combined, yes. Combined one. So yes. if if your research is not completely based on quantitative, or if it is a mixture, then go for mixture means com combination of quantitative and qualitative. If it is totally based on qualitative, then go for qualitative. It is up to you. If you feel that if you feel that it is a combination or it is a mixture of these two, then you write a mix, mixed research design. Also, uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Welcome, madam. Hmm. We are choosing the tools for this. Is it necessary yes. to use only one tool, or it will be a more than one tool? Like for an for an for, for analysis purpose, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. see uh, by using one tool of statistic or statistic uh, statistic is not uh, enough to uh, draw some conclusions to make some inferences or draw some inferences according to the hypothesis according to the data which we have collected yeah. we have to go for different tools of uh, statistical tools for analysis and uh, mostly we do not rely on one tool we go for uh, at least Four, five tools for analysis, or two, three tools. More, more than two, three. Two tools. So yes. we can use that t test and n cover test also together yes, like that. Okay. I don't. Ha. Huh, yes. For example, ah, huh, for example. Ha. Huh. And there are certain uh, rules to uh, use t test, f test, z test. Then uh, there are n number of tests. So z, t, and those are you know traditional. Now okay. new new things are there in the SBCS also. That the new things are there in statistics also. Like ANOVA is also traditional now. MANOVA is there. Yes. Then uh, Friedman test is invented. Then uh, you know n number of tests. I will show you in the last lecture. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. But Thank nowadays, you, sir. but now at this particular stage, there is no need to bother about statistical tools. Okay, okay, okay. Just we have to mention. It. Yes, just you have to mention. Yes, just you have to mention. And for your reference, and if you some if someone asks you about those tools, this is what I am telling in detail. Otherwise, there is no need to go right. No, sir. My question is that suppose in proposal now, yet now hmm. we have decided that one tool we are going to use one or two tools. But uh -huh. if mentor asks some question, why you have chosen uh, this particular tool only? Because we don't have that much idea about uh, any one of the test. 
so okay. what answer we must give them uh see uh, it can be understood by looking at the title only okay okay yes, sir right so uh, tomorrow you are writing your proposal no yes sir yes sir so i'll get an idea about your title and i will tell you if you are writing f test so what okay. will be the answer if they ask something i will tell you answer oh. okay okay sir. thank you thank you sir. okay thank okay you, sir. But I have one question. Yes, sir. So I have I have the MCA in management uh, faculty. Okay. I'm doing a PhD in the uh, MCA. Doing your you you got your approval? No, no, sorry, sir. I'm past entrance, sir. Okay, you're planning to do. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Hmm. So I have also experience in uh, sales uh, marketing. LIC okay. of India. Okay. As a direct sales executive, mm -hmm. and I have also experience in SAP, SAP, SAP consultant. Okay. So it is a beneficiary to me to have this experience in my career for doing the PhD. How it will be useful to useful to me? No, you do one thing. You select a topic which is related to your day to day activity or day to day work. If you are working with SAP, if you are, you know, working with um, related field like marketing, so you select a topic. But uh, what, what is your domain? MCA Commerce or Management? Management. So you can take a management related topic also. No issue. Yeah, I have done MCA, Master of Computer Lab. See, see, in MCA there are three domains, sir. As far as my my knowledge is concerned, in MCA there are three domains. MCA Commerce, MCA Management, MCA Science. If I'm not wrong. Yes, sir. So your domain of MCA is MCA Management. So yes, you sir. can do PhD related to management subject. Okay, no issue at all. Okay, I'm selecting topic topic like ERP. It is beneficial to me. Sorry. Yeah. I'm selecting topic. Yes. Topic. Yes. Correct. Correct. Enterprise uh, Resource Planning. Yes. Correct. Uh, so. I had a yes, one question. Yes, ma'am. Uh, see, till tomorrow or till Saturday, the yes. six for six points which we are given in research proposal that Correct. we have to write and send to you, and then the other part, what I think so, twenty or twenty-two points you have mentioned in the proposal. Correct. So Correct. that we have to complete and send to you, so that you will get an idea about our proposal. Correct. This is what and this activity is there, ma'am. Yeah, in that way you are going to guide us about. Uh, yes. What we have written in this. Okay, so correct, till tomorrow correct. we have to send. Correct, right. Sir, yes. sir, I just want to ask you one question. Like I have the study which is a basically descriptive. Correct. This will be based on like the interviews. Uh, this will be based on uh, uh, qualitative data, data and all. Yeah. Qualitative okay. data. Yeah. Qualitative data. Yeah. More. Correct. Hmm. So, uh, like. Uh, uh, the uh, um, like I don't have any uh, quantitative as such information as such, okay. which I can uh, only ever to get it from somewhere and all. So I, I need to go for this test or what? Like, uh, how, what is your suggestion like? Uh, let me uh, you know go through your title. If it is okay. behavioral study, for example, okay. if it is behavioral study, then uh, all those tests are there, but not like head test, step test. We have like okay. you know okay. biomedical test. F test, Friedman test. Okay. We have different. Mm -hmm. We have ANOVA, MANO also. Because uh, okay. when we go for uh, behavioral test, no, we go for multiple okay. variables. Mm -hmm. And whenever uh, we go for multiple variables, we go for uh, MANOVA. Okay. And uh, the second question is like, uh, I have that uh, um, now the formation of the problems. I have decided. I have given the formation of the problems. Now there, okay. uh, after that, it will be like objective of the study. Okay, and then hypothesis. Correct. Right. So this is the sequences uh, you find. Uh, correct. Correct. This one is the sequence. Okay. Now I have some variables in the hypothesis. Okay. So what? What? Like, like the first hypothesis would be that what study I am doing is okay. Like correct. that is number one. Yes. And the uh, uh, second hypothesis, like whatever study I am doing. Uh, whatever uh, like these people are doing technological upgradation is is Correct. somewhat is useful for that Correct. and third half of this could be in no this study uh, like this technological uh, intervention is not required we require something else from the marketing side Correct. so these three hypotheses i have done it like 
Okay. So, is it correct the way of doing it? Correct, or? correct, correct, correct. And uh, I, su I suggest to you all, those who are here, while writing hypothesis, you start writing hypothesis in a positive manner. If it is your hypothesis negative, don't write negative hypothesis at the beginning. Okay. As you just said now, uh, if you uh, don't feel that it is not related to that particular field, so write that hypothesis at last. So, what people, uh, when they look at your proposal, no? If they see, uh, if you are negative about uh, the research, then that mm -hmm. will be a little bit, it will create bad image in the mind of uh, panel members. So okay. start with positive hypothesis first and then at the end, write negative hypothesis also, if it is there, if it is mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So you are on the right okay. track, sir. You are on the right track. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Welcome, sir. Uh, is anybody having any question? I request you all to ask your questions. I'm very much eager to answer your questions. There are some Hello. people. Uh, yes, yes. Basaraj. Yes, sir. I want to ask a question. Like uh, doing PhD, uh, how much necessary it is to have basic knowledge? Because I have uh, strong in my basic knowledge. Like uh, I have done all, all courses like MSCIT, computer courses, tally, ERP. Like it is a... Uh, uh, beneficial to me oh, what I, I'm saying. Uh, in what sense as far as your topic is concerned or phd uh, research is concerned this is concerned. i have a strong basic See, knowledge no no but, you have strong basic knowledge regarding these things but when you want to go for research and research related activities how much knowledge of research and research procedure that you have no, the committee also see you no. Know, what is basic knowledge? The committee you? will uh, focus on your research related knowledge. Okay, but basic knowledge is also important. No doubt, whatever topic or sector you have chosen, the knowledge from that sector is must. But if you want to, you know, convert your uh, sector knowledge into a research, then you should have research knowledge also, man. Okay. Otherwise, it is uh, difficult to convert from. Uh, Convert from uh, uh, sector knowledge into research knowledge, you know? Yes. Sir, uh, I have one doubt. Uh, yes, madam. While writing research proposal, yes, uh, if I select one methodology and after proposal, I think I thought that it was wrong. I want to change that methodology. That uh, that time it's possible. This is okay up to interview. This is up to this is okay up to interview. But if it is accepted by university. Then it's very difficult to change it. Okay. Remember, yeah, proposal stage la sangla is proposal stage la kaya arsani anar nai. Panzar tumi ya, tumsa topic approve hala with the patent hala permission dili. Manje apnu to na allot kela to mala to topic. Kyu assign kela. And nantar tum chamar dalik nai mala badla se. Ta hala saamani kyu ekad varsho lagu shakta. Because we don't have now enough knowledge. Uh, what should uh, we? Uh, which technique is perfect? See, uh, you are not going to make your proposal by own. Guide will be given to you, no? So, my guide will be given to you, no? When you final proposal, you will be able to guide you. And if you will be able to guide you, you will be able to guide you, no? That you will be able to ask, 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 Knowledge nearly lela hai, and they have final pakad lagat. And they have made that you badal karata sil tar the moti procedure hai. They mean they for formalities are there. Even it takes huge time. Karon ham maza sanmu hai. Karon me jaise proposal lil to survey the kaam hote. I was also new like you guys, and the guide was not that much cooperative. He told me you go by your own. Ani mala nantar badlao lagla objectives. Mala the sahmani nai mala dilu varsi lagla process complete hone hai. So from that particular you know incident, I learned a lot. क्या तुम मतलब खुद का ही सिखा ले मतलब ऐसे मतलब हरकत नहीं करा तो ओके थैंक यू यस मैडम यस इतने में एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज आस्क योर क्वेश्चन सिर्फ इट इज़ देयर गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग विजेश यस सर सर माय वन क्वेरी इज़ देयर सर आई कंप्लीटेड माय मास्टर डिग्री इन एमबीए ओके I've taken commerce subject and special subject in banking, my okay. banking and finance. Okay. Uh, so have, have you done MCOM? 
no 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 sir it is compulsory you sir no not yes, mba sir. you done you done mba right yes sir so you can go for uh, phd in banking also no issue yes sir because Thank there you, is sir. a there is a common title commerce and management now they are yes, not yes, yes 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 so there is no objection as there is no objection as such you can go ahead thank you thank you sir thank you sir uh sanjay sir i think today you don't have more questions <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I, i'm getting some complex situations now and i'm just okay. trying to follow up so i'll be uh, you know asking more and more and uh, just now i have gone through the template of yours yeah and i found that you have uh, you know written that uh, from where i am going to collect that primary data as well as secondary data right correct correct so in case of primary data i need to write uh, the name of the uh, literature to whom i am going to review or or just uh, uh, like uh, primary sources i should write or i should be very specific on the numbers you should names. be very see while writing in your thesis right now while writing your in, in your proposal that is mm -hmm. okay you can write interview questionnaire i am going to take you know mm -hmm. i am going to take schedules also yes, but yes, yes. this this is okay with your proposal right now okay okay this is okay with uh, while submitting your proposal to university also but okay when you are going to submit your thesis at that time you should be very much specific yeah yeah sure. yeah if you write interview and interviews are not conducted interviews are not conducted then they will have mm -hmm. some objections but at this yes. particular stage of proposal even at the time of submitting your proposal to university it's okay mm -hmm. yeah you can write anything Okay, I'm going to conduct interview later on. My year later on, over later on. That is all. अभी ठीक है. मगर जब final thesis करोगे तो वहाँ पे जो भी सही है, actual है वही लिखना पड़ेगा. Right, right, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome, sir. Uh, I think questions are over. There is no question in chat box today. Uh, but हाँ? ये तो ये तो ये तो विजय सर. ये तो आवाज है तो ये तो. बोला कि विजय सर. क्वेरी नहीं तुमसे आवाज डिस्टर्ब झाला होता अच्छा अच्छा बार 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 ओके क्वेरी व्हिच आर आई एम वेरी इगर टू आंसर योर क्वेरीज एंड एवरी डे आई टुडे अटेंडेंस वाज आल्सो अ लिटिल बिट लेस चार पांच लोग नो दे आज बट आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड आफ्टर पेइंग देम आफ्टर पेइंग आल्सो दे आर नॉट अटेंडिंग प्रिया सत्र कोणी झाला नसता सोडते या सॉरी सर आई मिस द लेक्चर टुडे सो इफ यू कैन सेंड दिस रिकॉर्डिंग श्योर श्योर 100% सर आई विल सेंड 100% आम्ही तुम्हाला आज मेल केलं सर हो नाही मीटिंग होती माझी ती जरा एक्सटेंड झाली अदरवाइज आई वुड आई जॉइंड अर्लीयर ओके सर नो इशू आई विल सेंड द रेकॉर्डिंग ओके थँक्यू सर आई थिंक देयर इज नो क्वेश्चन इन चॅट बॉक्स आल्सो एंड देयर इज नो क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम समबडी इज अस्किंग कोण विचारतोय हां गियर बसवराज यस बसवराज हां आई वांट टू आस्क क्वेश्चन यस सर आफ्टर कंप्लीशन प्लीज डीलिंग How much time is there to do? Hello, sorry. Somebody, my dear. I didn't understand your question. I think there is a disturbance from your end. You just want to know if there is a disturbance at all. Sanjay sir. Uh, Reshma Shetty, madam. Reshma Shetty, madam. Please mute yourself. Yes, sir. Mute Kara, please. You just want to know if there is a disturbance at all. Ah, ah. Now you please repeat. Ah, yes, sir. After. Ah. After after uh, successful completing PhD, okay. how much chance there to work abroad? Abroad work. Yes. See, if you are doing PhD from any recognized university in India, from India, again, when you go to abroad for job and for teaching uh, profession also, there is a recognition. No worry of recognition. But you should have to complete your PhD from state or central universities. state and center let me confirm let me tell you central universities are those uh, which are run by the central government and state means which are run by the state government but there are some private universities and those they don't have recognition in, in uh, foreign countries so ki barasya universities ashe janna ka manta madala recognition bahar nahi hai ti tumhala chalnar nahi ani if you go through the list given by ugc they have given some black listed list names of universities also so just go through those black listed names of universities and then decide only from which, which university you have to complete your research yes sir yes sir i just wanted to contribute here like he jandi he sangitla na 
तर कोणा युनिव्हर्सिटी मध्ये आपल्याकडे जो फॉर्मेट असतो त्याच्यामध्ये ऑलरेडी ते युजीसीच्या सगळ्या युनिव्हर्सिटी दिलेल्या आहेत त्याच्या बाहेर ते एक्सेप्ट करत नाही आणि इनकेस तुम्ही पीईटी मध्ये पास झाला असेल तर तो ऑलरेडी तुम्ही क्वालिफाईड आहे करेक्ट करेक्ट अँड नाव डेज फ्रॉम टू थाउजंड नाईन ऑनवर्ड्स युजीसी हॅज इश्यूड सम गाईडलाईन्स अँड दोज लाईन्स गाईडलाईन्स कॅन बी कॉल्ड एज पी एच डी गाईडलाईन्स टू थाउजंड नाईन हॅव मेड दिस प्रोसिजर व्हेरी परफेक्ट देर इज अ पेड अँड एक्झामिशन आर गिवन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नेट सेट then there is a interview process then there is a you know finalization of topic and all so proper procedure is given but before 2009 it was not there and this is what those uh, who, who have done their phds before 2009 now they are in trouble because those days proper procedure was not followed and that was not their fault also but because of that particular uh, not having proper procedure they are suffering but those who are doing phds after 2009 they are in you know a good situation good position proper recognition is there outside india also so sir uh, there is a proper recognition out in our, our, outside india also but you have to do your phd from recognized university which is recognized by ugc yeah definitely uh, doing phd on uh, in pune university also you know okay no sure. pune is the you know no doubt i mean any one of us to na ami is bhari man जयंतराळीकर वन अँड हाफ पेज ओनली forget about that it is related oh, yes sir so natural yes. because i have found some no. researches on shodh ganga website that have only 200 pages also someone says me that uh, you have to write Ma- your thesis mm-hmm. 300 pages at least madam i have seen one thesis which is of only 75 pages in commerce so you do not bother about the number of pages but try to cover the entire things according to your topic that is only expected इनवॅलिड Yes, yes. And uh, unfortunately, if you don't. It is three years something, no? I, that I don't know. Sorry, but uh, yes. as far as University of Pune is concerned, it is up to for this interview, and uh, it it is not going to happen. And uh, I think it should not be. Ha- it should not be there. Even unfortunately, if you don't get selected in this particular, uh, you know, procedure, <laughs> then again, if you want to go for PhD, then again you have to apply for the same procedure next year. Sure, sure, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Welcome, sir. uh i think all the questions i tried my level best to answer and you all are happy with my questions but uh, there is one more question in chat box and that is given by dipti madam dipti madam is she there yes sir okay i will answer this question uh, can you use both qualitative and quantitative methodology yes this is what there is third one combined one mixed one multi method तेल आपण म्हणू शकतो वी कॅन से मल्टी मेथड और कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस टू करेक्ट वी कॅन गो फॉर सी इन सर्टन रिसर्चर्स रिसर्च इन सर्टन रिसर्च व्हॉट हॅपन वी गो फॉर बोथ द मेथड्स ॲट अ टाइम समटाइम्स वी हॅव क्वांटिटेटिव्ह डेटा सम समटाइम्स वी हॅव क्वांटिटेटिव्ह डेटा आल्सो सपोज यू इफ यू आर डूइंग पीएचडी इन पब्लिक फायनान्स सो वी हॅव दिस काइंड ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन सो देयर वी कॅन गो फॉर कॉम्बिनेशन अँड इन्स्टेड ऑफ रायटिंग क्वांटिटेटिव्ह अँड क्वालिटेटिव्ह you can write uh, the researcher has used a uh, combined research method or combined design of research that is okay so madam you can thank go you. for this one thank so you should sure have yes madam yes madam uh anything more for me nothing is there uh, so can we wind up yes sir thank you sir okay so okay sir thank you sir we can we are going to wind up now okay thank you so much